Hey guys, Weeby News here, and today we are back with more Persona 5. Yes, last time we got busted by Makoto. Who would have thought Ryuji yelling loudly about us being the Phantom Thieves would have gotten us busted somehow? Who would have thunk it? I guess uh, On got us caught too, but I do feel like Ryuji was a decent amount louder, so I blame him a lot more than I blame On. Yeah, we also got this uh, fancy time limit up in the corner that uh, is kind of stressing me out since uh, we haven't gotten the palace yet. And I don't know, it just feels weird to not try to go to the palace. Like, I don't know, right when the time limit starts, you know? Already wasted two days looking for this guy. Eh. But yeah, I guess I'll keep uh, just plowing through until we meet him. Hopefully, hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> it would really suck if it was like three days left reported to the police. Oh, now we found him. Oh, goody. But yeah, um, you guys gave me a lot of good advice on getting more money since I'm fucking broke. <laughs> 4,000 yen. Oh, that's so, so, so bad. But yeah, you guys said um, if you go to Mentos and you confuse the bosses, you're a lot more likely to get um, extra money. Like a lot of the times they'll throw money at you in battle because they've been inflicted with confusion. But yeah, I'll try that out the next time I go to Mementos. It might be this video, it might be the next one. I'm not really 100% sure right now, just because I think it depends on uh, if I find the Mafia boss or not. One of you guys said too that um, the more personas you register in the Compodium, the cheaper the prices are there, so that's really cool too. Also, a bunch of you guys have been uh, asking me about my plant. I actually have been checking up on him pretty, pretty regularly, but I've been editing it out. Come on. You don't have any plant nutrients? It just started looking better too. Oh, I guess I do need to feed him. He was uh, good the other day, so I didn't think I needed to feed him, but I guess I do. You're just trying to embarrass me, Morgana, by telling telling the audience I haven't fed him. I could have sworn I checked like a day or two ago and he was like, Yep, he's still good. Yeah, 1,000. That's kind of pricey. I'll just get one for now. And even less money. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for taking all my money. Let's give you some nutrients. Shouldn't you give it some plant nutrients by now? Yeah. I mean, like, a thousand yen for a point up, I think, is pretty good. These are some reasonably priced nutrients. This ought to bring a bit of life back to this plant. Yeah, give me those points. I'm still considerate. Yep. Right. That should do it for a while. Yeah, I think I'll go to the beef bowl shop. It probably is a good idea to raise my proficiency up, too. If I work at the beef bowl shop, I might develop my proficiency. Time for work. All right, work hard and make that money. I'll be slacking off in the corner. Yep, let's go to work. Hey, there are dirty plates still left on the table. And there are customers in front waiting to pay. Are you going to be okay? Oh, yeah, I think this is the same cutscene, too. Nice job. All right, good work. You can leave now since it's the end of your shift. This is your pay today. Thank you. Well, I hope you can keep it up. Yeah. Literally more money than uh, what I what I had before. I doubled my money though, so that's good. Man. Oh my god, are you okay? You were alone the whole time. I mean, I could have helped, but <laughs> I'm a cat. But you still managed to do all those orders by yourself. If you ask me, you were proficient. <laughs> I haven't been leveling up proficiency very often either. Clean up. All right. Let's head Come on, let's leave. Yeah, I feel like charm and proficiency have kind of taken a back seat recently. With my social stats. Oh. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Is it just me or are there a ton of police here today? I've got a job. I've got a job you could do. Want to hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh yeah, it's been a while since we've uh, talked about those. Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. Scum of society? Talking about the criminal organization or us? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? They'll improve the world. Hell yeah, we will. We're the bomb. Hi. Oh, it's you. Akechi. Sketchy Akechi. That was what I saw some of you guys nickname him. So true, so true. So we meet again, but my, what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. 
What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? A criminal, I would think. I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like it might be bad to say that. Oh yeah, I think it'll be a criminal. And then like on the news later, it's a criminal. That won't make us look suspicious at all. Although we're not the best at covering up our trail, so... Maybe it would be in character for him to say that. I'll say I have no idea. Hmm. Yes. To be blunt, neither do I. There's just not enough material to form any concrete thoughts. However, I'm positive they'll soon target someone who will garner even more attention. Hmm. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. I don't want to be embarrassed again, like what you did to me. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Thanks, buddy. I just noticed he has a an A on his thing. Looks like the uh, Avengers logo. I guess it uh, stands for a catchy though. Ah, oh, for real? We didn't get anything. <laughs> God, they suck. And we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? I felt like we were making pretty decent progress so far. Considering we've only been investigating for like a couple of days and the police have had such a hard time uh, finding them. Although, like I said, I am thinking that potentially the government might be trying to like cover up for the organization. Just because those cops were talking about how like they weren't getting sent a whole lot of people. You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea. There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. Ah, oh, they're so mean to her. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. <laughs> Fuck those kids, man. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Oh yeah, the people singing? <laughs> yeah, they sound pretty bad. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. Yeah. There has to be someone who has what we need. What about the media? Who could that be? Someone think for me. <laughs> me. That's what I was gonna say. I'm seriously drawing a blank. Yusuke, think for me. You're the smart one. Wait, that journalist. Oh yeah, that chick. Yeah, I was wondering um, how I was going to get her confidant since uh, I figured she would only really show up with the uh, Madarame case, but I guess it makes sense that she would get involved in uh, this one too, and uh, others in the future. You mean the woman who was staking out Madarame's house? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about her. Didn't she give you her card? Yeah, she also randomly approached me on the subway and started talking to me like we'd known each other since middle school. It was pretty weird. The business card says Ichoki Oya of Mayaza Newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. <laughs> they still make newspapers? Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Yeah, true. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. Hmm. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <laughs> the way he said that. <sighs> <coughs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Sounds good. Yeah, I kinda figured I might have to go out of my way to get her confidant, but it seems like it might be, uh, sort of like intertwined with the story. Hey. 
You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose into other people's business. <laughs> About that. <laughs> the chief's as sharp as ever. But it seems more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Oh, and I am. Probably. Yep, I was like, Kawakami, I can't afford you right now. Actually, I think technically I can, but I would only have like a thousand yen afterwards. I'll provide you with some calories, master. It's Becky, the delivery maid. The maid's cooking option includes together with a maid. It's on sale. With a request fee, it's only 5,000 yen. That's the price it always is. I feel I can become closer with Kawakami thanks to the temperance persona Makami. I feel like my bond with Kawakami will grow stronger soon. He accepted Kawakami's deal. Be sure to accept her invitations until you gain her trust, okay? I'll decide later. Oh man, I want to hang out with her. But at the same time, I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know. I don't really know how important it is to have like uh, a lot of money on you. You know, like um, if I'm just going to go to Mementos uh, right after we find the Mafia boss, it's probably okay to go ahead and do it. On our reoccurring feature about dangers approaching the city, we examine how police have responded. The police stated that they are dedicating all their efforts to prevent more victims of the Mafia. However, they have failed to make good on that promise. <laughs> they fucking suck. And the public's unease is only grown. They're hurting a lot of people. I really wish we could find some sort of lead. Yeah, I might regret this, but I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with her. Are you thinking of wasting all your money? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Hi. Hi, this is Becky. Thanks for calling me on this rainy. Uh, hold on, it's you. I barely get any customers on rainy days. Um, Master, are you hungry at all? I got McDonald's. Now we're offering special services like maids cooking and together with a maid. I'm surprised uh, Sojuro hasn't said anything about a random maid coming over and coming up to my room. With the request fee included, it'll only cost 5,000 yen. It's practically a steal. It'll only cost you 5,000 yen. You ready to lose all your money? I was born ready. What? What? Seriously? You're gonna hang out with me when you only had like 6,000 yen? <laughs> what a dumbass. I mean, uh, thanks for requesting me. It was actually only $3,000. I'm pocketing $2,000. Then please wait for me, master. I hope you have a big appetite. Just gonna bring over McDonald's and be like, and then there's the extra 2,000 yen McDonald's fee. Master. Don't forget to pay up. Heart, well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Yeah, they do. Do some real cooking. <laughs> Can I have a different maid? Do some real cooking. Bring me McDonald's. That's what I thought I signed up for. Damn it. I'll choose the only nice one. <laughs> I thought you'd agree, master. They are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me if you're going to complain. <laughs> I didn't complain, though. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? I was curious, so I could slack off in class. I wanted to see you. This is the true answer, but I should probably say this. Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? <laughs> I really think it's just because you want to slack off. Yeah, you got me. Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Ugh, oh, I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really relentless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teachers' salaries. I'm so sick of it. Your sister's bills, right? I'll request you more often. You're really blunt. Maybe that? Nope. <laughs> Rip. Huh? Oh yeah, you have good memory. <laughs> Impressive. Sigh, I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Another important phone call, I guess. Hello? What? What? How much? I can't... Yes, but... That... That's true. Sure. Uh... Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility, after all. 
Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. You have a rough. Are they that expensive? Don't overdo it. Maybe that. Uh, apparently, it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. Uh, why do you look so shocked? That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Okay, that's why she looked uh, weird for a second. I was like, you're not making this up, are you? Making this up so I'll request you more. I figured that probably wasn't the case, though, since she uh, did seem like she didn't want me to request her. Ugh, what am I gonna do? Anyways, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Aw, that's so nice. Worried about me? Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Yeah, that was really sweet of her to say that. Rank up! All right. I mean, I guess I knew she was going to do that anyways, since I uh, read the ability, but... Just hearing her talk about it was like, aww, you're worried about me, cute. You are now able to ask Kawakami for housekeeping. Yeah. Housekeeping service. You can now hire Kawakami to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. Ah, nice. Ugh. Sigh, this isn't how it was supposed to go. I was supposed to charge you for doing laundry and stuff. Wait, what? In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Ah, oh, poor thing. Good night. Good night. Seems so sad. Makoto. I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? Yeah, seriously. <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? Fucking Kobiakawa. She's not doing enough shit for me. No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their life away out there. They got involved in criminal acts and were blackmailed into working at illegal sex establishments. Okay, so that's where the uh, prostitution stuff comes into play. I'm guessing that's uh, also connected to the criminal organization we're going to take down. It seems like they focus on the prostitution stuff at night and the drug stuff during the day. Uh... I feel like it's kind of early to say, but out of all the girls so far, I do think I like Makoto the best. She just looks so, so sad all the time. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. Huh. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. They're unforgivable. Yeah, definitely the same. Same organization. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? <laughs> Calm down. I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. We've usually beaten the palace by now, dude. To be more precise, it's 10 days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this! I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Um... Najima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Uh, hold on. Calm down, they're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out, he might try and threaten me too. 
Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. See, like everyone gives her so much shit. But she's really a nice person. That's, that's not true. My goal here is to protect the students of the school. Then please, please hurry. Uh, poor thing. Well, then. we'll just have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare the plan in the meantime. Ah, oh, my phone. Sorry to bother you while you were expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? Oh yeah. It seems the one who posted about his brother is a student of my school. And so after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh right, I was actually wondering about that. It doesn't... It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed. Now, I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makagami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Yeah, but we do have like a criminal organization getting people to do prostitution and sell drugs going on in our school, so... I don't know if it's that crazy. Nice going, Yusuke. <laughs> I can't believe you actually complimented me. And you even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome! All we gotta do now is punish him in mementos. This burglar guy, this burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a Phantom Thieves are really about. It seems we are unanimous then. We can further discuss the details at the hideout. Hmm. We have our target. We also have the Mafia to deal with too, so make sure the timing's right. Anyways, let's all meet up at the hideout when you're ready. Request received. Okay, cool. Three requests. So that's good. Makes me feel uh, better about going in there. Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about what Mishima told you? No. I am the Shibuya Burglars. Health changes? Mishima's request? What are your plans? Oh, I can hang out with Yusuke? What are your plans for today? I'm in Shibuya watching people. I'll be in the station for a while, so let me know if something comes up. Seems like Yusuke hasn't gone home yet. Oh, nice! I never get to hang out with him, damn it! Um, maybe I'll go to Mementos tomorrow! Okay, I know I'm broke, but it's so tempting. I can't, I have to hang out with him. Do you have a moment? I'd like to get your thoughts on Monorame's plagiarism scandal. It's unforgivable. It's pathetic. I don't think anything of it. Unforgivable. Do you hear what he's saying? This youth cannot forgive the prevalence of evil permeating our society. He's absolutely enraged. Modern Japan robs the young of their hope, and dirty politics casts a dark shadow over all of us. And that concludes our on-the-spot coverage. <laughs> enraged. I'm got to go crazy. Just you wait. Hello? Oh, Weibo, the station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? Only to see you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. May I get a word in? I would like to speak with you. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Yusuke. Oh yes, I think that means I'll get a confidant with him, right? Weibo, do you have time? Let's talk. Yes. Ain't no way I'm telling my babe. I'm busy. Oh man, I'll be so happy to finally get his confidant though. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I am having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? Weibo, what should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? A mental landscape. A dream world. Mementos. Damn it, this feels like a quiz. A dream world. <laughs> nope, wrong. Try getting it right next time. And maybe I'll give you my confidant. Kinda wanna try it. Ah, oh, I see, mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Oh, we're actually going? <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Oh. This distorted realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating heart is akin to an abyss. 
Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. Okay, that makes sense then. I guess he was worried he might become like Madarame in a way, if he started painting with like scholarships and stuff like that in mind. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. Poor Yusuke. I'll be with you, bro. I'll help you through this. What's the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Just hurry it up. <laughs> Give me your brush. That seems rude. Give me your brush. I'll show you painting, babe. Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. I guess both responses were kind of rude. Hmm, the lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Inspiration has struck! <laughs> that must be it! Such brilliance! Composition! Ah, oh, my heart races! Huh. Wonder what it was. <laughs> How inelegant! I thought it was about to be like, yes! He is beautiful! He reminds me of the torn desires of Kamashida. You mean the penis monster? Yes. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go! I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Oh, we seriously gonna fight? <laughs> no way! Oh, seriously? Um, I think they were uh, weak to electricity before. Let's go. Yeah. Pretty sure. Nope. Visit rotting meat. Let's go. <laughs> that sounds so pretty. <laughs> they are taking really well to us. Uh, stat debuffs, though. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, weak. All out. Hopefully you guys have money on you. Yeah, 1,000 money. <laughs> Man, I doubled my money. Level up, cool. That's so random. I didn't expect to fight during this. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you are here. You have my thanks. No problem, dude. You're like Theo. Theo. What are you talking about? No, I'm my own person. You caught me. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. What are you talking about? I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Oh, okay. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. An admirer? A supporter? Thanks. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. <laughs> I find your weirdness charming, Yusuke. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? It's the blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Uh, what? Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so strange, Yusuke. Hmm. <laughs> A satisfactory result. I don't know, just the idea of him drawing and randomly being like, What? Hmm. Oh my. Wait a second. Huh. I don't feel like you see a whole lot of people make those types of uh, responses while drawing. You're such a weird little guy, Yusuke. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Oh, weird. Recarm. My picture turned into a real skill card? <laughs> nice! I wonder what it does. That's an amazing power. This will be useful. Oh, that is cool! I haven't really used any of those yet, but mostly because uh, I think the ones I've gotten so far haven't been incredibly uh, helpful in battle. At least uh, with the people I was fighting. Indeed. 
Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. Yes. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? I'm counting on you. Let's do it. It's a deal. It's a deal then. Yes. I can sense Yusuke's trust in me. Come on, give it to me. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy! Man, it took a really long time to get this confidant. We're starting to wonder. I was like, did I fuck up somewhere? <laughs> Holy hell, we're Multiple finally cards doing this. Were discovered among your belongings. Replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? Make magical cards for me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. I wonder what arcana he is. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, Emperor Persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Oh, that's like the fancy guy I got, I'm pretty sure. I might have to double check on that, though. I'm pretty sure that was uh, the Emperor, though. Emperor, rank 1, Novice Duplication. Allows Yusuke to use blank cards to duplicate Rolink skill cards. Nice! All right. You've unlocked the Emperor Confidants. Using Personas will get you Arcana Burst. Yusuke can now use Novice Duplication. Yes. Duplication. You can now ask Yusuke to use his duplication ability to make you copies of skill cards. I'm guessing I'll have to find blank cards, though. To copy a skill card, give Yusuke a blank card and the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. Okay. The blank card will be transformed to create the new skill card. Yusuke will return both the new and original cards to you, so I'm guessing, um... We have to find like uh, new abilities though, in like the palace and stuff. It seems like you have to already have the card in order to duplicate it, so that makes sense. Blank cards can be obtained from treasure chests and mementos, and from negotiating with shadows. Try to find as many as you can. Okay, cool, like a new negotiation thing We've too. For today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. Yeah, you will. I'll see you later. Oh, that makes me happy, though. I'm happy I did that. The journalist responded to me. Hmm. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? <laughs> That's fucking sketchy. It's already 6 p.m. We can't go now. Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Sketchy. Sounds good. What's Shinjuku like? Will you be my escort? Hell no. <sighs> Where'd you learn about those kinds of things? <laughs> anyway, Shinjuku is a nightlife district full of temptation. Brace yourself. Oh yeah, that is kind of a weird place to ask me to meet up. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. You know, in case you die or something. Shinjuku at night, eh? <laughs> Can I tag along? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. It should just be me and Weibo night out on the town. I mean, uh, you know, just for the meeting and stuff. But you know what we're really gonna be doing, Weibo. Partying all night long. My apologies, I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Weibo will go, okay? Got it. I'm worried. Got it. We're gonna get so wasted tonight. If Weibo's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, Wait are you going to go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Yeah, it would be weird to see a student in a place like that. For real? You're still in your uniform? What the fuck? Huh, no choice. I didn't have time to go home. People aren't going to notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. <laughs> no mo rules. That's true. You stand out. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Looking good, Joker. Hey, that's my line. That's not the issue. Are you both idiots? I'm just saying it now. I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Come on. 
Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we probably we should probably hop on the J line. The JL. Just get out of this building and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Man. Is this really going to be okay? <laughs> we're gonna get arrested. Probably. Come on, let's hop on the JL. Go out of here and head through the ticket gates on the right. Now I'm gonna get a crab first. Dude, you're fucking broke. Don't even try that shit. Come to think of it, I'm starving. Let's get this over with so we can go eat somewhere. Oh, is it this way? Yeah. Alright, let's head to Shinjuku. Okay, gosh, I was kind of uh, confused for a little bit. Shinjuku, yes, new area. Another heart of Tokyo with an active nightlife and downtown shops. Bars open to minors. Conversation can be enjoyed at any age. All right. And so can alcohol. You can now go to Shinjuku. Hey. <laughs> That's interesting. Shinjuku is outside of the area where your commuter pass works, right? Oh, no, no. No, damn it. How much is it? Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I swear to God. Oh, no, it's 5,000 yen. What will you do? <laughs> it's like the one time I'm low on money is when the story requires it. Using the train, the school commuter train pass allows you to travel for free on two subway rail on two railway lines, Yanganjaya to Shibuya and Shibuya to Aoyama Ichome. You will have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so be aware and make travel plans accordingly. Oh, cool little anime poster. Whoa. Whoa, even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for ya. Looks so pretty. Hey! Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa! I was just trying to find that place we we're looking for. Crossroads bar is right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep on going straight. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, people to talk to. Bar promoter. Welcome to our Izakaya. How about some all you can drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you underage? <laughs> I'm a dad. And nope, is that a problem? Nope, not at all. Well, in that case, come in for an hour or two. <laughs> totally. How did you get caught up in this? Come on, ignore him. Come on, Morgana. He's my buddy. Hey, man, you want to come play? Touch all you want. No added fees. We have all the cutest girls in town. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not interested. <laughs> Tell me more. I'm totally interested. Did you really just- <laughs> Stop judging me, Ryuji. You're the one who always talks about getting babes. It's my turn, damn it. Did you really just ask that? Just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. Jeez. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Let's talk to this cop. I'm not interested. Do you have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm a high schooler. I'm a college student. I'm an adult. Uh, college student? Yep. Oh yeah, we're adults, you see. Hmm, are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh yeah, what's that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids? Is that a school uniform? Whoa. Shit. You kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Hey, hey, wait. Shoot, this is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! Can't catch us, coppers. Man. How much longer until we get there? Come on, man. Hey, it ain't our fault. We had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. All because of us. This area does look really pretty, though. I can talk to you. Fortune teller. Uh, excuse me. You have a picture, too. You... For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else? <laughs> Woman troubles? Oh my god, Ryuji, are you and Morgana gonna get together? I'm a man! In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. Huh? What? Me? Right. Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. It'll only be 20,000 yen. <laughs> what a steal, man. Oh, More man. of this shit. Sorry, but we're in a hurry. I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see, my apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. That's cool. Does seem interesting, though. I'll come back here later. Whoa, man, we ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? 
It says crossroads. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. <laughs> That's because of you. Just wait outside. You're useless. Ch I can't say nothing back. <laughs> I fucked up. I feel bad, but I'll leave this to you guys. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Welcome! A la la escargot. <laughs> what a name. Welcome, welcome. Hmm? How old are you, boy? Hey! Oh, sorry, Lala Chan. He's with me. Who, boy? Oh, you picked up a real young one this time. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. You just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Okay, let's talk to you. <laughs> Lala Chan, I'm going to borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you with some water. <laughs> with water? Oh, boy. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Why is Shibuya dangerous? Who controls Shibuya? Let's try this one. Oh. Why that? I have business there. I need intel on their boss. Hmm. That's sketchy as fuck. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Have to do a task for you or something? Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be one of those Phantom Thieves guys, would you? Nope, not me. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? <laughs> are those your terms? Why are you asking me? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the phantom thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. <laughs> Pretty much everyone at our school. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. After all, it seems like handling this matter in the open would be an inconvenience to us both. Hmm. A student who suffered from abuse. Everybody. Probably Ryuji. Oh, what about that Mishima oh. guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I know someone. I accept your offer. Hell yeah, let's embarrass Mishima. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Yeah, I feel like we have several people who would have worked though too. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? I guess it probably is best that it's not uh, one of us being interviewed, actually. Since that would raise even more suspicion towards us. Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro. Hmm. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. How do you know this? Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. You're gonna die. Lala Chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. I don't even have a glass of water next to me. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Cool. Seems like we got his name, though, so that's good. Yes. All right, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. What happened to Ryuji? Hope he didn't get caught by another cop. How'd it go? Nailed it. I can't say. <laughs> Nailed it. For real awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. 
It's that kind of open area you pass on your way to the bar. So we just gotta go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Yeah. Can I actually uh, look at some places or is Morgana gonna be like, oh wow, well, you shouldn't be looking at these places. Well, we're on such a strict time limit, meh. Kinda like to talk to this lady. Seems like such a random place to have a flower shop. Huh, flower shop? Look at all these flower, looking at all these flowers suits me. Anyways, ah, damn you. Damn you, Morgana. There you are. Wonder if a different movies play here. Colt 9. Creepy. Hey. hey, I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt on our next target? For real? Junior Kaneshiro. Hey. Oh my god, not so loud. What the fuck is wrong with you? Always getting us caught. Junior Kaneshiro, and enter. Here we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Hell yeah. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude. This is totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Uncanny voice. I don't know. Makoto or uh, Akechi, maybe? I hope it's not Akechi. <laughs> Just shows up. I'm on to you, assholes. Oh, a real huge catch, you say. I'm getting pumped, too. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> None of the above. Scruffy romantic. Oh, what a cutie. And so muscular, too. I'll give you an 85 out of 100. <laughs> Gah, who are you? Gwahaha. I'm the naughty troll of Shinjuku. I'm gonna eat you up. Whoa. Hey, wait, let me go. Dude, help! You can hear me, can't you? <laughs> I can't hear anything. So this is Shinjuku. You're so popular. Show them your inner man. So this is Shinjuku. Hey. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of dog in a kennel. Your friend is in serious trouble here. Hee hee hee. What an energetic stud muffin. I'll give you all the freebies you could ever desire. <laughs> freebies? The night is young and so are you. Let's party it up. Ah! <laughs> Um, Come back alive. <laughs> We're just gonna leave him. See ya, Ryuji. Wanna head back? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe we really did ditch him. We are the worst friends ever. Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. I think you know what time it is. Gonna be Ryuji. What the fuck, dude? Did you find any clues? I have a name. I'll tell you tomorrow. I have a name. You did it! Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? <laughs> Don't worry, he's just busy with his new boyfriend. I'm sure he'll figure it out once he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kanashiro's palace. Yeah, I guess we just gotta find uh, the place now, too. That was surprisingly easy. I can't fucking believe the cops didn't do this sooner. Yeah, good. Makes me feel better now. Like, hey, Makoto, we found the name. That's close enough, right? Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? Oh, now it's probably gonna be Ryuji. Oh, no, Mishima. Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? <laughs> Am I finally gonna get laid? <laughs> Nobody. She said she's interested in me. What's this about? <laughs> Not like that, dude. What kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? <laughs> I am totally gonna get laid. Totally cute. Definitely hot. You'll see. Definitely hot. For real? You're not pulling my leg, right? Oya-san. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? She is so into me. Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? <laughs> yep, good for you. You'll find out. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Mishima. You're finally gonna get laid. Looks like my time in the female limelight has finally arrived. <laughs> Poor Mishima. So mean to him. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyways, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. Alright, I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. <laughs> Oh, Mishima. Oh, Mishima. It's the best boy. We have an update on the arson case at a factory for restaurant giant Hanaruya. 
The arrested employee continues to state that he cannot recall ever committing the crime. Oh, interesting. With no testimony to link to a motivation, the cause remains unclear. Crimes with suspects unable to explain their motives continue to occur in the restaurant industry. Yeah, I remember them talking about that before. There's all sorts of incidents going on. Arson is pretty crazy. Yeah, for real. Oh my god, what are you gonna do? Shinjuku, the city that never sleeps. What an awful place. It's a fascinating place, don't you think? We should go back sometime. Yep, guess I'll go to sleep. Nothing else to do, I'm okay. sure. As long as we know who we're aiming for, we'll figure out the rest somehow. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day, so let's get to bed. Sleep. They'll improve the world. Getting close to uh, 20%. Oh, wait, that one. I hate a catchy, so yes. Finally, someone on our side. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. I know, right? I feel bad for Yuji. It's like, we seriously are the worst. <laughs> what are you talking about? These guys fucked me over. I saw some things. Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. Yep. Well, we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, this going to be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? A garden? <laughs> that seems so random. No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. <laughs> These are all terrible guesses. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? A bank, a mansion, a money bath? <laughs> I think it was a money bath thing. We should try that again. I guess a bank, maybe? I see. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a hit. Cool. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. Hmm, interesting. I thought it would be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? I'll be interested to see the design of the palace, too. Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? I really like the uh, aesthetic of the museum, so I'm excited to see what the bank aesthetic kind of looks like. If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? It can't be our school, right? No, I don't think so. It was just all high schoolers. Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. Okay. The hell are you talking about? Dude, when you go on about that artsy shit, you totally lose me. This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. Yeah, that's why I was kind of thinking it was like a school, but I mean, like, our school was already the castle for Kamashita. I don't really feel like we'll have uh, repeat locations. And they are uh, targeting a bunch of different people from different schools, so it's like, I guess not. So I guess it's just like uh, wherever they round up the people, maybe? That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? <laughs> Probably a lot. Oh. Wait a second. All of Shibuya? Oh. I have a hit. Wow. Wow. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? That makes sense, though. I guess I just kind of thought it would be more like a building, like what they were thinking, too. 
The place that Koneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. Yeah. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. Damn, that's gonna be such a big palace. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. <laughs> In that case, let's go. Sweet. What are those? Oh, whoa. Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. Oh my god, that is crazy. <laughs> I'm guessing this guy's palace is greed. I can't imagine anything else. With him seeing people as walking ATMs. So this is what Koneshiro considers a bank. It's so funny looking. I never thought it would be the entire district around us the distortion is affecting the whole of shibuya <laughs> huh what do you mean yeah it's a pretty big deal oh that's right even when we were in the castle and the museum the city outside looked normal he sees everyone in shibuya as his patron dang no surprise for a mafia boss yeah it definitely seems like this guy is a lot bigger of a target than the other two for sure it's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. All these little ATMs walking around. Hey! <laughs> look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. I wonder if that's a homeless person, maybe? Uh, Just because, like, if it's a homeless person, then there's no money that he can take from him, so he might as well be a broken piece of shit. Uh, do these guys even have mouths? Excuse me, can we? Ah, uh, please forgive me. What happened? Where's Kaneshiro? What happened? I don't have any more, please. I'm telling you, not even one yen. Come on, man. Whoa, cool it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? Shriek. There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. I also think I saw a homeless person uh, there before, so that's kind of also why I, why I was thinking that. Perhaps. Are those? Oh, I wonder if those are um the girls who got involved in a prostitution, maybe? Their legs look kind of feminine. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? What the hell? I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Damn. Hmm. Someone is... in the real world must be suffering just like this. Kanashiro is true evil. Maybe, maybe it's not the prostitution thing. They just looked uh, kind of feminine for a second. Yeah, it's probably just uh, more people he bled dry. More. To, are all these guys Kaneshiro's victims? What a dick. That would appear to be the case, but there is nobody we can speak to, let alone a bank anywhere. Joker. Let us try checking around the station once more. We may have overlooked something important. Oh, there's another person over there. Wait. Oh, look, do you think that person's a victim too? Looks like it. Hey. Excuse me, can we have a word? We are. It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened? Where's Kaneshiro? Let's try this. Where else? A place where he leaves no tracks. Not that knowing where it is, it will help you. What do you mean? Hmm, could you mean that? Hey, hey, you gotta tell us a little more than... I'm, I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just the people he sucked dry. I don't think he can speak anymore. Kanashira leaves no tracks? Does he mean that literally, or could it be figurative? Hey, hey, why don't we go over all the intel we have now? Hmm. We've apparently fallen quite far. 
Wait a second, they've fallen from a place that Kaneshiro doesn't leave any tracks. Oh, is it like floating in the sky? Like Howl's moving castle, Kaneshiro's moving bank. Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere high up? Huh. Oh yeah, it does look like the money's uh, floating upwards. What, you mean like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of them around here, I don't think. <laughs> no. Wait, what's that? I guess they saw the money too. Oh, whoa. Is that it? Looks like a UFO. Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Yeah, it's like sucking all the money from Shibuya. Interesting. Kind of sheer doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? <laughs> Bad chance. No, just a car. Totally useless. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? <laughs> I'm not a transformer. Shut it! I'm not some robot cat. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a cat at all. No. <laughs> this may be the limit of what we can do today. <sighs> we gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Hmm. <laughs> all right, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how we're gonna get up there at the moment. Because it doesn't seem like uh, any of the buildings are super tall, so... Can't really just uh, jump from one <laughs> onto there, I don't think. I have a new message from Oya. Evening! <laughs> this Mishima guy tried to bang me. Is that normal? It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. You free? Yeah, I'm busy. Slow day, huh? I'm texting you amid my busy work schedule. It's about that kind of Shiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little so I dug a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say more than that. Okay, okay. So maybe he does have um Yeah, some connections with like the government or the police force or something. Shady connections. He's not someone a teenager like you should mess with. You should really back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See ya. Man. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that might be the case since the police brought that up in that one conversation. <sighs> and just when we find the palace, it's all the way up in the sky. What a pain. I'm sure the police are tired of this guy, too. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of Himiko. Yeah, what a pain. Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check out the TV? Oh, yeah. Can I travel? No, damn you. Damn you, Morgana. I wanted to get the tea that'll help me go up a level. Okay, let's look at the thing. Hi, everyone. It's time to do some shopping. I probably don't even have enough money to buy anything. Here's what we've got for you today. 20 boxes of mental floss. Floss with these and you'll magically remember things you never knew. It's true, I always think about all sorts of random things while I'm just flossing my teeth. This is a limited item and today is the one and only day it'll be available. And it can be yours for the incredibly low price of 1,980 yen. I feel like uh, several other products have been that amount too. We're offering it for 1,980 yen because it's on sale for today only. Oh, the phones are already ringing off the hook. Once we're sold out, that's it. Don't miss out on this deal. 20 boxes of mental floss, huh? They're just 1,980 yen. Thinking of buying them? Um, man, I have no money. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I see. You can only get this today, right? <laughs> you should probably get it. Don't tell me how to live my life, Morgana. Well, then. We can't do anything if we can't infiltrate the palace. We'll have to think of something. Yeah, I saw we only have like a nine days left too. It's like, damn. <laughs> really? Really running out of time, aren't we? Feels so wrong. I've been thinking lately. Oh, she changed her outfit. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If dad were still alive... Okay, their dad is dead. I'm guessing it's the same case with their mom too. Or uh, that's probably pretty likely. Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. No. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if 
he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. Huh. That's not... Good God, everybody is just so rude to her. You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Jeez. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. Ugh. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Okay, okay. That makes sense then. Could probably explain more why she would be so against us too, I'm guessing. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Jeez, I know, right? She just like completely blew up on her. I mean, I guess they understand. It's probably like a touchy subject, but come on. Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Good lord. Right now, you're useless to me. Jeez. All you do is eat away at my life. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh my god. <laughs> please, Makoto. Please, move in with me. I'll be nice to you. Sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. Yeah, Sai doesn't seem like a bad person, but jeez, that was like a... A little much. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. God, poor Makoto. I just can't. Ugh. We ain't got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. This shit's rigged. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Yeah. What do you want? Yay, you're here. I'll be nice to you, babe. Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. God, <laughs> already acting hostile towards her. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Ah, uh, just like what her sister said. Right now, you're useless to me. Yeah. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Cash. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? Jeez, come on, give her a break. <laughs> I mean, I understand that she has been kind of hostile towards us, but I don't know. I like Makoto. Just want her to have some friends and to smile. All of her sprites look so sad so far. So you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Something like that. That's the only way. Not from you. I'm not gonna be mean to her. Screw you, mean option. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. Screw you too, Ryuji. I'm gonna be nice to her. My new waifu. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. Aww. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. Yes! What exactly is she planning on doing? Yes, Makoto, do it, join us. Oh, I can feel it. She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? Yeah, I was thinking that maybe we just needed to find his location like in the real world in order to find a path there or something along those lines. This seems to be where this is going. I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Uh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. <sighs> We're never gonna find her. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have, you know, shit talked her for five minutes after she left. Maybe then we wouldn't have lost her. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Hmm, record it. Huh? Who is it? My new girlfriend. Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! 
What you doing? I made these guys my bitch. I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street. She's being too rash. Maybe a little bit, but maybe that's what we need. What are you getting at? Kick their ass, Makoto. He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? Yeah, she is being really rash, though. Hope she's gonna be okay. He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. Damn. He said get the fuck in! She is definitely a badass. <laughs> rash or not. The guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Yeah. Is she still on? Felt like that was pretty obvious though. Way to be slow, Morgana. Contact Kanashiro son. Tell him we got a good one. Oh, that's why she said to record. Okay. She's gonna record the whole conversation. Smart, smart. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kaneshiro-san's customer. Hmm. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them! Ryuji, get a taxi. I- Oh, damn it. My bad. Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills have come in handy. Yeah, I guess we are a bunch of high schoolers. Damn, I said stop. <laughs> oh my god! Ryuji! And we called Makoto Rash. Hurry up and get in. Oh, there he is. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. He really does look like anime Eric Cartman to me. Like that's all I see when I look at him. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? Oh, yeah, I found the phone, too. What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san. What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits. <laughs> you dumbasses. Yeah, a lot of that money. That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? Mm, about three million. Oh, for real? Yeah, he is loaded. Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? <laughs> It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. What a strange guy. Spending money is the only way to relieve my stress. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. A <laughs> psycho. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Trying to get us to become drug dealers for him, I guess. Huh. Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Oh no, yeah. And there's the blackmail. Uh, that's... Oh damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs too. Ah, oh, this is so hilarious. <laughs> he seems kind of strange. His personality's a lot different than I thought it would be. Like, his sprites are kind of silly. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. Ugh. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then. 
no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. Aw oh, man, is she gonna stay kidnapped in the meantime? Okay, good. <laughs> They're letting her go. Three weeks for three million yen. Things have taken a serious turn for the worse. Okay, I really hope that means we get a new countdown, though. Especially since this palace seems fucking huge. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For real. Aw, oh, but you were trying to help. That was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. It's done is done. Oh, at least they're being nice to her now. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. I wonder what happened to their mother, though. But I'm still a child, so all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. She did say it the other night at dinner, though. That was super rude. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. Yeah. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> yeah, poor thing. People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Aw, Makoto, stop beating yourself up so much. Makes me so sad. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Yeah. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? Yeah, she's an outcast just like us. We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Way to just talk about the metaverse out in the open again, Ryuji. I guess she does already know we're Phantom Thieves, so maybe it's not a huge deal at this point. But still, Ryuji, can you keep your mouth shut? Just, just a little bit sometimes? Ryuji? <laughs> bank? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you screwed us again, buddy. Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? Maybe he didn't screw us over. Maybe he actually helped this time. Seems like it, at least. A cat? Um, are you all okay? Why are you guys talking to your cat? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. Oh, okay. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. 
At the very least, she has the right to know. Yeah. Won't you come with us? Yes. What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. To the metaverse! Yes! Oh man, it really does seem like... <laughs> Her body looks so weird! <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god. Somebody help me! A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet! The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? Aw, oh, no. Morgana's adorable. I'm not! Aww. Oh. That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice... Takamaki-san? <laughs> Girl, you look good. Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? My goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. Yeah, it is a lot to take in. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's something we have no idea about. <laughs> we just kind of beat stuff up. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? We're about the same! Hey, I help too, sometimes. I make sure you guys have good sleep schedules. Then, does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? Yeah. You sound like my father. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing the whole thing with their father is gonna lead Sai to be like, super duper against our actions. Since it seems like he was pretty reckless trying to do the right thing, I guess. Your father? No, that don't mind me. Mm. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. Hell yeah. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess since we're customers now. It's just as I calculated. Join my ship. Oh, pretty. <laughs> the ATMs look kind of funny. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. Yeah, it's pretty. Not as pretty as the museum, but I still like it. I like the aesthetic so far. I really gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. <laughs> yeah. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Oh, that's cool. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. 
Hell yeah, you will, Makoto. Well, then let's head inside. This is nice, though. Seems like I might get a good opportunity to uh, earn some money before I actually have to go, like, officially inside the palace. Ah, damn it. Our timer still hasn't changed, though. <laughs> I was hoping since he said that thing about the month, it would be like, well, Makoto's on our side now, so, uh, let's uh, change that. Change that timer to four weeks, <laughs> right? Right, Morgana? Not that easy. All right, we're going in. <laughs> we are so obviously robbers. What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. <laughs> Come at me, bro. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Hmm. That voice. It's Kaneshiro. You mean a bank has a president? Yeah, they kind of talk through the ceiling sometimes. We don't really question it. They make good money. Please wait. Reception is further into the right. It sounds so like formal. Yeah, on the left is the reception desk, to the right is the bathroom. Make yourself comfortable, you know. I strongly advise that you do not attempt to go elsewhere. Okay. More dead people. That's not the way, just get in towards the back. Oh, oh there it is, I see it. Yeah, here we go. Reception is just past this door. Sounds good, bro. Anything to steal around here? Guess I probably shouldn't steal anything around you guys, right? Chuck, they're not attacking us. Reception is just the right. Don't go anywhere else. But I want to steal this thing. Damn it. Guessing it's this door? This is the reception office. Hurry on inside. And nobody's in here. Hey, look, 3 million yen! We can just give him this money, right? Don't think it works like that. How many beef bowls could I eat with this? <laughs> Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. Oh, no. That comes to 3 million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? Oh, it actually is 3 million yen. <laughs> I was just making a joke. It must be tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. Oh, I didn't expect him to randomly turn purple. You look different in general. Interesting. You gonna call it off then? Like his hair is different too. No. A loan. The interest rate is ten percent a day. Ten percent interest a day? Um uh that means uh, one day is it's 300,000 yen. <laughs> Dumbass. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight. Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. Oh, I guess she is famous, so maybe that's why he's familiar with her? I wouldn't think he would know her otherwise. How do you know that? Okay, maybe he does. I was just thinking maybe she was uh, well known in general. Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. Okay, he was just doing research on us. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! He did say he was gonna start with our family. Young women are so useful. They lack physical strength and are dumb. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. <laughs> what a dick. It just might be the rule since the dawn of history. Oh my god. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kanashiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. 
Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. <laughs> Here we go. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. He does seem, you know, considerably fucked up already, but I am curious to see if he is going to have any secrets revealed to, like, Madarame. Even Kamashita too, I felt like we sort of learned more stuff about him while we were, uh, walking around his castle. I'm curious to know, uh, what other fuckery you've been up to, Anime Cartman. <laughs> Purple Anime Cartman. <laughs> oh, you guys are freaky looking. I've seen you before. In the Velvet Room. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Freaky looking, guys. I don't see a weakness. Yeah. I don't remember what you were weak to, though. Persona. Okay. Let's see. I guess I'll try wind. I don't feel like it's wind, but I don't know. Might as well try it. Nobody else has it, so, you know. Nope. Fire, maybe? Go! Nope. Let's go. I lend it. Dang. Maybe it's physical. Oh fuck! That looks bad. That looks bad. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's try double things. Nope. <laughs> Resist. That sounds about right. Let's see, yeah. nuclear? Technical, okay. That's Persona. something. Eat this. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what their weakness was. Damn, <laughs> I still don't know either. Go that down. seemed to do pretty well. Nope, not anymore. You're mine. Go, nice. <laughs> that worked way better than I thought it would. Psych damage? I don't know. Oh, that did do a lot better. Hey, yeah. Kick his ass. Man, I feel like nothing has been used to them. Critical. I feel like I'm just like plowing through my SP. Another round, and I still don't know your weakness. The? There's no end to them. Have they really been hired with money? And they're not weak to fucking anything, dear God. We're in trouble at this rate. Let's run. Solid plan. Let's get the hell out of here. It can't be. Why did the security guards turn into monsters? And what were those supernatural powers? Oh yeah, you're new to all this. You'll get used to it, don't worry. Could those have been the personas you mentioned? Does now really look like the time to be asking that? Jeez, we need to retreat, Makoto. Make sure you don't get separated from us. Joker. Hurry, Joker, the exit's just over there. Okay, let's go. Don't want to get my ass kicked again. Looks like that might be the case, though. Yep. There's no end to them, guys. Their faces kind of look like bugs, almost. You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kanashiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <laughs> so prissy looking. A clap clap. Managing a bank is tough. That's why I make it a case to kill troublesome customers. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. I'll eliminate others besides my goods. You've no need to worry. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Oh, God. I kind of felt like that was where that was going. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. God, what a dick. 
she could have been successful. If only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. God, so gross. Endure it. Do as I'm told. Don't do it anymore, Makoto. Don't be the pushover type of girl, like Akechi was saying. Be a badass. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> God, he's so gross looking. I've been listening to you go on and on. Yes. Shut your damn mouth, you money grubbing asshole! <laughs> yes, get him! Huh? Yes! Ah! Oh, I know that music. That's the persona music. Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Oh, I'm interested yes. to see hers. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> Love how she just like, hurry this shit up, I want my persona now. I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Yes. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your Oh, no, the mask thing. It always freaks me out. What the hell? Yes, I want to see it. I wonder what hers looks like. Oh, a motorcycle. Oh. Oh, sweet. Our costume looks awesome. Sona? No, dude. That's a bike. <laughs> I can feel it. Myself. Me. Nice. Got it! Take him down. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> you better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you. I will not lose heart again. Ever. Chris is interesting looking. I'll go full speed, non stop. Right, Johanna? Johanna. Yes, awesome. Oh, I'm so happy to have her now. Finally, I've been waiting. Uh, I felt like it's taken a while to get her on our side. Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! Let all that anger out, Makoto. The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Looks like she replaced uh, Ryuji. Let's try Frey on you first. Johanna! Yes! Usually it does seem like uh, the new person has the weakness, so... Figured that might be the case. Okay, let's try Bless. There. Surely. Ah, seriously? What are those guys weak to? Okay, let's at least get you knocked down. Okay, well this seemed to work decent on them last time. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, thank god those assholes are gone. Yes, finally get in. All out. Oh man, these guys are assholes. <laughs> Those other guys, literally their weakness was the one thing I didn't have. Now, let's get out of here. Yes, 3,000 money. Level up. I might actually switch uh, Morgana and on if I can get a fire on Weibo. I think Morgana's healing is a bit better. We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? <laughs> the bike does look kind of funny. <laughs> like, the way she's just like standing on it just looks kind of funny. Hmm. <laughs> she looks so pissed. There's only one exit, right? Sup, Miss Post-Apocalyptic Raider. <laughs> Let's drive that shit down. Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. <laughs> That's pretty cool that it's a bike, though. <laughs> Literally. Damn. Hey, she's kind of hot now, don't you think? Okay, we have a path. Get in. Your car is not nearly as cool as the bike. 
So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. There's not a snowball's chance in hell that a bright future lies ahead for you. See you soon, asshole. <laughs> the distortions always make him look so funny. Look at how tiny my legs are. Ooh. Man, talk about wild. <laughs> you are so badass in there. I'm a little turned on. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. It's a good thing, Makoto. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy she's finally joined us. I never thought I'd become part of the phantom thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the phantom thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. Yeah, Makoto, be your own person. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. I am pissed off! It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. Yeah. I'd be honored if I can help out. You'll be very useful to us, Makoto. No need to be hard on yourself. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. This was turning into a total sausage fest. Thank God you're here. from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Yeah. Three weeks left, huh? Okay, good. It seems like we are gonna get a new time limit. There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great. We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. I really do like Makoto a lot so far. What a busy day. Damn, motorcycles are cool. Ah oh, yeah, she's already in our group text. I wish my persona was like that, damn it. Yours is on a ship though. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. It'll be just like the song, I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. <laughs> Don't say such things, and for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all, Najima. Do you got a license? A regular one, yes. Oh, that's cool. Nice, I can't wait to get my hands on one too. I didn't think she would actually know how to ride one in real life. Thought the motorcycle was just like a projection of her inner personality, or whatever. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying that, I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions in this. If only I could have realized what was happening to Suzui-san, too. Come on, we don't need to talk about that now. It seems there are still lingering issues on everyone's minds. 
Now's not the time to be talking about that shit, though. Don't we gotta be doing something about Kaneshiro? He's right, we gotta kick his ass. Very well, I understand. Anyways, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Also, motorcycles are way cooler than ships. You got that right, too. Nice. Makoto seems like she'll make a reliable advisor. But now we're going up against a real criminal. Stay on your toes, okay? Yeah, cool. I want to look at uh, my team now. Yeah, I want to look at her profile. Let's see. Oh, it's so cool looking. I feel like there's like a character she reminds me of from like a TV show or something. I can't put my finger on it though. Joanna. Joanna. Joanna or Johanna? I think it was Johanna. Arcana Priestess. The mysterious female pope of the Middle Ages. She posed as a man and eventually made it all the way up to the pope due to her unrivaled intellect. Her existence shook the history of the Catholic Church. Okay, cool. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video for here. I'm so, so happy that Makoto finally joined our party. Oh man, I felt like that was a long time coming. I really like her too, and I was just feeling really, really bad for her. She just beats herself up so much, and, and everybody's just like always expecting so much from her and like giving her a ton of shit when she doesn't meet up to their expectations. So it was nice to see her sort of like rebel against that old personality. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're still enjoying the series, and I will see you guys real soon.